Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say you my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better me. It's on B. boy's a killer man he's been killing it uh i haven't talked about this person all season right and there's a reason why i haven't talked about him because it's nothing to talk about it really isn't until we see him win the championship just like Jokic did last year joel and b you're playing like a man possessed you are averaging 35 points per game 11.8 rebounds, so basically 12 rebounds, two blocks, and a steal per game. I had to mention assists. Probably average about five assists, too. You are looking like you're going to get back-to-back -back MVP. You're that dominant. You are looking like the best player in the league. And at this point, Let's be honest. We don't care. We don't care what we what you do in the regular season at this point. We know how great you are. We want to see you get an NBA championship. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Joel Embiid is playing like a man possessed within the league. What's good, y'all? It's Robo Will. We'll be back in your another video. So against the best defense in the league, the best defense in the NBA, the Minnesota Timberwolves, what this Joel B do? He drops 51. About 11, 11 points rebounds. Versus Rudy Gobert, who's the defense player of the year player, and Carl Anthony Towns. Two twin towers. This man drops 51. Whoever is doing prize picks, underdog, DraftKings, whatever y'all doing. Joel Embiid is the easiest player, player to pick in the NBA. He's the easiest player to pick. More. It don't matter what, what, what it is. It could be 30 points. It could be 33. It could be 34. Damn, it could be 40. Pick him more. Because you know what we expect from him at this point. Night in, night out. He has been aggressive. This year, he's he was aggressive last year. That's why he went MVP. This year, it's no emotion from him. I'm seeing a different player. The stuff, the numbers he's putting up, it don't matter for him. He knows what he can do. He knows how to get the ball in the basket. He knows how to defend. He knows how to post up and just bully people down low. And then he can face up in the basket. Then he can do his step back shots. For him to be that big, that tall. Doing step backs. And then he can also post on you. Then he can also do the Euro on you. He's unlocked all attributes. Hall of Fame paint beast. And also Hall of Fame step back artist. As I call it. Joel and B will probably win MVP once again. But I have to see this and Joel and B throughout the playoffs because Philly is balling. They are second seed right now in these. They're 19 and 8. They have won the last six out of seven games. Tyrese Matthew has obviously come on as an upcoming star in this league. And you train James Harden has worked out both ways, worked out for Philly, especially. Is now working out for the Clippers, as y'all can see. So, honestly, that y'all need one more player. If y'all can try, I've seen the reports y'all are trying, looking at OG Ananobi and Zach Levine. Personally, I want y'all to grab OG Ananobi. Y'all can get OG Ananobi. Y'all can challenge 
Milwaukee, and Boston in the East. Y'all can challenge them. Right now, y'all can challenge them, but I don't think y'all can beat them in a seven-game series. If y'all get OG Ananobi, things might change. If we can see this Joel and B in the playoffs, they will at least get to the East Coast Finals. At least. At least. Because he got shooters around him, right? Tyrus Massey's operating the show as a point guard. Kelly Oubre has been a great addition. Nicholas Batum has been a solid addition. And Tobias Harris, even though he's just too inconsistent for me, if he can stay consistent, y'all have a chance. Okay. I love him what I'm seeing from Philly. I love him what I'm seeing from MB. But personally, I don't care until he gets to the playoffs. If we can see this MB all out the playoffs, no matter, no matter what happens, then I'm like, okay. But at this point, just like we had the situation with Jokic, we just seen these kind of numbers Jokic was doing. And we was like, okay, this is a great and all, but he got he got to win to get into that to that category of the best big man of all time. If MB get that title, he will be right up there, at least top ten. He got to get that title, man. So that's all I got to say for this video. If y'all enjoyed, give your boy a like, subscribe to your channel if you're new. Philly, let's see how far y'all can get. Let's see if B and B can stay healthy. Then we have a different discussion. Like I said, I appreciate y'all for the support. Give me 10,000 subscribers for these years over. And I appreciate y'all tuning in. It's your boy, Will.